Forget cycling, these guys are taking it to the next level. Literally. Russian engineers have crafted a hover bike, which they've dubbed the Scorpion 3. It's made to ride with all the ease of your standard dirt bike. But in case you hadn't noticed, the bike's chassis seems to be mounted to a drone. Here's a biker cum pilot taking the Scorpion for a spin in a warehouse in Moscow. It's capable of reaching speeds of 30 miles per hour and an altitude of 33 feet. The machine can stay airborne for half an hour on one charge. It might look like the stuff of James Bond, but it could be yours for somewhere in the region of £120,000. And there are even plans for it to be used for everyday purposes. If perhaps you fancy a new way to commute. People have been fascinated with the idea of flying, floating, soaring, and gliding for centuries. Today, technology has caught up with science fiction, and the concept of hovering and hovercraft is finally here. I visited a super secret garage in Los Angeles to meet Tim DeRoche of Aerofex, the company that created this, a vehicle they call the Aero X. Just don't call it a hover bike. The Aero X is a surface effect vehicle. A lot of people call it a hover bike. Um, technically, it's not a hover bike. Uh, a hovercraft is something that operates only in two dimensions on the ground. And the Aero X is a vehicle that gets up to 15 feet off the ground and operates in three dimensions. So it has pitch and it has yaw. The Aero X is the brainchild of Tim's cousin, Mark DeRoche, an aerospace engineer. Wow. There it is. Seeing the prototype up close was pretty cool. I feel like I've stepped into a dream in the future. This vehicle design is actually not entirely new. It was a design that came out of the military decades ago. But in that case, it was more like a helicopter. And the guy was just riding it, operating it like a helicopter, sitting on top. On the Aero X, the rider rides it like a motorcycle. So you're sitting atop it, and you're flying it intuitively, and the vehicle's following your motions. So what is the key innovation here? The key innovation is the control system. These flaps, they're called ejectors, that run around the perimeter of each fan. And they control the airflow on the perimeter, and closing or opening them will allow you to control the pitch of the vehicle and the yaw of the vehicle. Pitch is the up and down movement of an object in air or water. Yaw is its side to side movement. So how far up off the ground can this get? So we are aiming to operate the vehicle five to 15 feet off the ground. We want to be flying over fences, over cars. We want it to fly over a field of corn, for example. The applications that we're most excited about are agriculture and search and rescue and recreation. I think the vehicle's going to be a lot of fun. Tim let me climb on the Aero X, which is made out of carbon fiber, to get a feel for the controls. There you go. How does it feel? Very cool. As I do this, as you go forward and back, you're controlling the airflow, and that's going to control your altitude. OK, so this is controlling the up and down. Yep. OK. And then as you manipulate your wrists, huh. then you are controlling the pitch okay. and the yaw of the vehicle. OK. And the way you're doing that is opening and closing these flaps, these ejectors along the perimeter. So how much training does this require to take out a test? So you're gonna need about two hours of training to fly this vehicle pretty effectively. Because the Aero X flies below 15 feet off the ground, you don't need a pilot's license to ride it.